Hi, my name's Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. So do you need a smoothing compound on top of your screed before the floor coverings go down? Uh, the simple answer is generally no. So if you're laying uh, ceramics, uh, engineered wood, uh, if you're laying carpets, etc., then the answer would be no. The finish would be perfectly adequate for all those systems. The only time when a smoothing compound would be recommended would be if you're laying any thin vinyls. So anything floor coverings, Antico, uh, etc., the manufacturers always recommend uh, that there is a smoothing compound. And literally the smoothing compound is just something that's uh, going to be a, a three mil covering and literally it does what it says. It just smooths out any slight blemish. Uh, you could, uh, to all appearances, look at the screed and think, yes, you can put the vinyls directly down on there. Uh, but literally the, the light will catch the vinyls and you can just see slight imperfections there. Uh, so it is recommended. It is it, it does mention it within the British standard and it is something that's recommended by the vinyl manufacturers and, and generally floor layers. Uh, so when the floor layer comes in, they will normally expect that they will be laying a uh, smoothing compound to take out any of those uh, small blemishes. Now it may be that you've uh, you've just got an existing floor, existing concrete floor, and you just want a smoothing compound. There may be a few odd differences in levels, and you want a smoothing compound just to put down on there. Uh, and then, of course, that would mean that it's it's uh, ready straight away to uh, lay those those thin floor coverings. Uh, but essentially, you're you're looking at uh, the majority of products. Uh, flooring doesn't require a, a smoothing compound, and you've got that open textured screed, which is going to be fantastic, uh, a fantastic surface for for bonding to. So that also covers the uh, flowing screeds as well. Uh, so the calcium sulfate screeds, they would still need a smoothing compound before laying thin vinyls. Uh, so if you just bear that in mind, because uh, I think the, uh, I suppose if you imagine a flowing screed, you're thinking it's it's going to be like a smoothing compound, uh, but you will uh, have those blemishes that uh, you know will cause issues with the with the vinyls and thin floor coverings. So uh, across the board, any of the screeds, if you've got thin vinyls, then you need to take advice from your flooring contractor. Uh, but it would be generally a case that it would be a smoothing compound that's required. Thank you.